beautiful October evening, about 6 o'clock, 6.30 in the evening. Last bit of daylight, I want to shoot this while we have it. I've got a profound lesson in appreciating what we've got and making something happen by events over the past four days. So a lot of you know Francesca Giannini, Franny to some of us, Swosa to me, we lost her. Um, she had been sick pretty much her whole life and finally lost her last Friday and kicked a lot of people in the stomach only because she was so loving and so enthusiastic. And I said it in a blog post, maybe because she knew her time was short. She milked every bit of love and every bit of enthusiasm that she could out of her life, out of her life. And had a conversation with a friend of mine a few, maybe an hour ago, and who's struggling with some things right now. And she knows what happened with Francesca. And again, that contrast. You see something that's difficult in your life and you're struggling with and you're challenging and you see somebody who lived with such passion knowing that it was going to be taken away at some point. We all say, you know, live because you never know when it can be taken away. Friend knew that it was going to be taken away. And my other friend got a sense of that. Punch in the gut for a lot of us, but it doesn't have to be the punch in the gut. It could be the wake-up call. What's going on around you right now? And we've heard this so many times before, but what's going on right now that you're using an excuse, as an excuse, to prevent yourself from taking those chances, from taking those risks, from growing into everything you're supposed to do to becoming the person you're supposed to be? You need a wake-up call. Look at how Franny lived her life. Look at what you're capable of doing. Look at what the good stuff is that's around you. Damn it, grow into it. It's time.